So obviously Call of Duty Cold War is finally out, which obviously means finally another Zombies game mode that's out that is actually going to be good, which I'm super hyped for. Like it's literally my favorite game mode on any game out there. So I'm probably going to be playing so much Zombies for the upcoming months, especially when they bring out new maps. But now today's video is quite simple since I'm literally just going to be teaching you how to turn the power on and how to pack a punch in the new Call of Duty Zombies map, The Machina. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it anyway. I'm not really sure about the pronunciation of the actual name of the map, but you know what I mean. Now, to be honest with you, if you've actually played Call of Duty Zombies before, then you should know some of the markings on the wall and some of the steps to follow to make this super simple. So you might not even need this guide and it should be straightforward for you. But if you're new to a game like Zombies or Call of Duty in general, then this guide might help you out quite a bit. Now, personally, when it comes to setting up power and pack a punching on this map, I personally like to save over 8,750 in the starting room because that's how much it costs to go through every door, get to pack a punch and set it up. It's up to you if you do this or if you don't, but it costs exactly 8,750 points to be able to open all doors and to turn on pack a punch. So once I save those points up, I literally just go through this door here. And as you can see, the doors I'm going through follow the same pattern of following the electric arrow on the wall. If you haven't played Call of Duty before, that literally means go this way for power. Also on this game mode, as you can notice, there's a marker saying to go to facility. So you can sort of just direct yourself towards that and that'll get you in the general direction as well. But I like to follow the power arrows to make sure I go based on the cheapest route possible and go directly to turning it on. Now when you go through those facility doors I just did, you can actually go left or right, just don't go straight ahead. And either way will take you to the power, it's up to you which way you go. I like to go right since there's a box location there and a few perks that way I like to use. But once you go through that right door, obviously just keep going and following the arrows once again because then they start showing up again. Even though the necrosis is quite progress, it would seem these creatures were once human. We should really get the power on before we make any assumptions. Now once the power is turned on, obviously your eyes are blessed with the vision since the lights actually turn on and you're not using a really small flashlight. But also you'll see two notifications pop up for terminals. You just want to go to both of those terminals and activate them both. And as soon as you've activated the second terminal, the machine will start doing its thing, powering up and all that stuff. And then in the center of the main room you're just currently in, as you can see an anomaly is created. You just want to go over to that, activate it, and in about 5 or 10 seconds, you'll finally teleport into another dimension sort of thing. Then once you're in the other dimension, obviously as you can see this point of interest pops up, you just want to start heading towards that. Now as I said, you've already spent 8,750 to get to where you are, so you can just go out the way you bought. You can go out another door if you've got a few spare points if you want to, or if you just saved up a loads of points and you want to open all the doors. However, you don't have to spend any more points apart from 500 points when you actually get to the point of interest, so you can teleport to the Pack-a-Punch item that you need. Also, the point of interest you're going to might be in a little bit of a different location, but they're not spread out too much. You just need to follow the marker, really. Then just like I did, when you go down to the bottom of that chute, just turn around or look around the room you're in because you might be in a different room. Pick up the Pack-a-Punch item and then once again, just follow the marker straight back to where you need to go to. Now when you get to this marker, you'll literally just activate it, put the part in and the Pack-a-Punch will be ready to use. But that's it for the tutorial. This one's actually quite simple since the Pack-a-Punch in this newer game seems to be more of a simple sort of list of things you have to go through, whereas in some of the older ones... You have to go through a lot of stuff to actually pack a punch. I'm quite interested to see how complex the new maps are when they come out. I know this map's only just come out, but I'm actually really interested to see how complex they are. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if it did help you out, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below. I really want to make more Zombies videos on this channel since it's literally my favourite game mode out there. And maybe just more Call of Duty videos in general. Because if you know me, I play a lot of Rust and it's slightly getting a bit boring and slightly pushing away from a solo gameplay aspect, Mortal Clans, which I don't play. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in my next ones. Peace out.